Yeah, so we're going to check the accuracy of the still uh, hexa. Uh, I'm not too sure whether it's 25 degrees or whether it's 30 degrees, uh, which is 65 degrees or 60 degrees on a Oregon. So that's the still hexa wheel. Uh, it's all dressed and everything. We've checked the accuracy. As you can see, it's sitting on zero. And if we mount it on the wheel, that's pretty good for me. 25.4, 24.9, 25.2, So that's the setting. And we did the same on an Oregon grinder. So we're going to go over and mount the wheel, a hexa wheel, and put the hexa chain on there and see how accurate the top plate cutting angle is. Okay, so what we did was mount the uh, hexa wheel on there and we set it up so that the wheel was just barely touching the tooth. And if we look at the picture here, you can see the surface area that uh, 25 degrees, so this is at a 25 degree angle, uh, that's 65 degrees on an Oregon grinder. So what we'll do next is set this at 30 degrees and that's 60 degrees on an Oregon grinder. And I, I wanna see the difference if the grinding wheel matches the tooth profile at either 25 degrees or 30 degrees, because it could have been a mistake on the USG chart because when you go over to the far uh, right-hand column, which is the last column, the ninth column, it's stating that it's got a uh, side plate angle of 60 degrees. Now, a side plate angle of 60 degrees, considering that the uh, down angle on the hexa is a straight line, there's an error somewhere. So I'm going to, all I'm trying to do is find out whether this hexa wheel matches a 30 degree profile or a 25 degree profile. So we'll have to do the next one and uh, see what happens there. Okay, so I've got the wheel in the tooth and you can see a few little tiny gaps there. So if I tilt it another five degrees, that's going to be interesting to see uh, what's going to happen there. Anyway, we'll do that. We'll tilt another five degrees and uh, we'll see which uh, matches. There's not much in it, a couple of degrees, but there's either a mistake in the still USG chart for hexa, because a top plate angle saying that it's 25 degrees, top plate cutting angle is 25 degrees, yet in the ninth column, it states that it's 60 degrees uh, on the side plate. And it's a straight line, so the wheel can't bend and change angles. So, yeah. So, okay, we've got that set at 30 degrees. And what we're going to do now is have a look how that fits the tooth compared to before. That's pretty spot on, 30.1. You're not going to get much better than that. Well, that's 30 degrees. It looks like a looks like a better fit. Really does look good, doesn't it? What we will do, because we just barely touched that with the grinder, barely touched it. We'll just put a, a tooth that's never been touched. And we'll put this one in. And we'll see what that's like. Yeah, look, I t I'll tell you what. It's just a little bit in that corner that's a little bit different. Very, very... Look, I'd almost be sort of guaranteeing that 30 degrees probably fits a little bit better but what we'll do we'll put the texture color 
on there and do exactly the same thing as what we done on the uh, 25 degree, which is 65 degree in an Oregon. So now this is 30 degrees, which is 60 degrees on an Oregon. So we'll mark this with the texture and we'll do exactly the same test and see how it comes out. Okay, so what we've done was set this up to 30 degrees, pull the wheel down into the profile to see what it looked like. So we've done it twice, we marked it with texture, and before we marked it with texture, it actually looked really good. So I marked it with red texture, and I just made sure that it barely touched the tooth, barely touched the tooth, started the grinder and pulled it down, and if you look up in the top left hand corner you'll see that it barely touched the tooth but it almost touched everything except the corner but that's okay because I was barely touching the tooth I wanted to see which profile matched the tooth better was it 25 degrees which is 65 degrees in an Oregon or was it 30 degrees which is uh, 60 degrees in an Oregon and I think you can clearly see that there's more surface contact area on the 30 degrees. So that being said, I'm sort of inclined to think that uh, hexa is more 30 degree angle than a 25 degree angle. Because when you look at the USG chart, on as I say in column 9, it does say that the side plate is uh, actually 60 degrees. So what we can do next is look at the side plate angle on the one that we ground and that would virtually be the end conclusion. Okay, so I think the conclusion is that maybe still made a little bit of an error with their uh, 25 degrees uh, because when you go to the last column on the ninth column, it's saying 60 degrees side plate. And that's exactly what I'm getting now that I've set it to 30 degrees, 60 degrees side plate. Now, the other thing also is 60 degrees side plate is a little bit more aggressive too, which is fairly standard. I, I really haven't seen anything less than 60 degrees so yeah look it's, it's it's fairly aggressive so that's a 60 degrees is what is what you're ever going to get if you have a look at that that lines up really well look at that now uh, for me if i'm doing hexa i'm going to use a top plate uh cutting angle of uh, 60 degrees on an Oregon grinder or 30 degrees on the steel USG grinder. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.